In this video, we are going to see generate a square wave on port D of PIC 16F 877 microcontroller. So this is the circuit that we have used for generating the square wave. Now we'll look at the program that will be used for generating the square wave. Now I have taken this uh, template file which is present inside the microchip folder. So in this template file, uh, we can directly uh, write our program after this main label. So uh, in this file, uh, in this program, the first thing that I have done is I have assigned the uh, port D as output port. So I have assigned the direction using trisd register. So when I uh, put value 00 in trisd register, the uh, port D will become output port. After that, here I have uh, set a default value to port D. So whenever we start the program, the default value of port D of uh, it will be zero. Next, I have configured the timer zero. Now in this program, we have used timer zero and that can be configured with the help of option register. So uh, the value that I have put in option register is 08. Now uh, that 08 corresponds to this binary value. So we can uh, take a look at the format of option register in the data sheet. And from that, you can figure out why that value is taken. After that, uh, once we have configured the timer, then uh, we can start the timer by loading the value in the timer register. Now, in this case, we have used timer 0. So TMR 0 is the timer register. And whenever we load any value in this register, the timer will start uh, counting. So uh, this is the value that I have loaded. Uh, so we can find out this value as per the calculations and how much frequency you need uh, at the output of the uh, port pin. Uh, that is a square wave frequency. According to that, you can find out this value. Uh, next, I have used uh, here uh, polling technique. In this, this T0IF is the timer zero overflow flag. Now, uh, when the timer is not overflowed, this flag will be zero. And when the timer uh, overflows, this flag will become one. So uh, using this instruction, bit test file skip if set. So unless and until this flag is zero, it will remain in this loop. And once this flag becomes one, that is timer zero overflows, uh, this condition will be true and it will skip the next instruction that is go to loop and it will execute the next instruction. So here the timer zero overflow flag is cleared using this BCF instruction. After that, uh, the port D status is complemented. If it was zero, it will become one. If it is one, it will become zero. And this thing, whole thing is repeated. So from here, go to start. So we have jumped over here. So again, the new value will be loaded and the uh, timer will continue uh, counting. Okay. So now to build this program, I can click on this. So the program will get built. And again, we can check the output on the MPLAB software itself. For that, we have a logic analyzer. Then if I run this entire program, and again, if I halt it, I will get the square wave uh, in this window. So I just have to zoom it. So this is the square wave available at uh, port D pin. So I have uh, selected here RD0 pin. You can select any other pin as well. So same uh, thing, I can do it in Proteus software. So for that, again, I have built this circuit. And you have, if you want to uh, run that program on this circuit, just you have to double click on this IC, select the uh, hex file. Now this is the hex file that is generated by MPLAB software. So open that, click on OK and just play it. So we'll get the square wave on the uh, oscilloscope as well as the LEDs connected to this port D are flashing. So the source code and this uh, Proteus simulation file, the link for that is available in the description of this video. Thank you.